My name is Carla Berrios, and I am currently a graduate student at the University of North Carolina, Wilmington, pursuing my master's degree in public history. Formerly, I was a high school social studies teacher in the North Carolina public school system. As a 2023 Library of Congress junior fellow, I worked with the Professional Learning and Outreach Initiatives Office on the project Culturally Relevant Pedagogy with Library of Congress Digital Collections. For this project, I created teaching materials that explore the struggles and triumphs of African Americans as they navigated the challenges of emancipation, citizenship, and the pursuit of social and economic opportunities in the post-Civil War era. I carefully selected primary sources for these teaching materials from various digitized collections of the Library of Congress. These teaching materials were then shared through the Teaching with Primary Sources TPS Teachers Network, which reaches over 225 partner organizations and more than 14,000 educators. One goal of my project was to create teaching materials that encourage students to consider diverse perspectives when learning about the racial violence and disenfranchisement African Americans faced after the Civil War. So I focused much of my research on exploring the digitized African American newspapers available through Chronicling America, a free searchable database of historic American newspapers available on the library's website. This headline is from the front page of the November 26, 1898 issue of the Richmond Planet, a black owned newspaper with 1,523 issues available through Chronicling America. The article describes the violent takeover of the city government in Wilmington, North Carolina by white supremacists after the 1898 midterm elections. In addition to being a powerful primary source for discussing the political and racial violence of the time, this newspaper article can also lead to student inquiry surrounding African American agency and activism. Students could also, re could also search for another article on the same topic published in a different newspaper to compare and analyze various perceptions of the events in Wilmington, North Carolina. Another goal of my project's teaching materials was to highlight aspects of the African American experience other than racial violence and disenfranchisement. For example, I selected this photograph that depicts a graduating law class of Howard University circa 1900. Pictured are 16 African-American law students standing on the steps of a building wearing formal attire, some holding top hats. This compelling image is part of the digital collection African-American photographs assembled for 1900 Paris Exposition which is publicly available at loc.gov. This photograph from the same digital collection depicts an African-American man standing in front of a black owned watch and jewelry store. By encouraging student exploration of primary sources that emphasize African-American resilience and achievement, teachers can help students develop important critical thinking skills and cultivate an appreciation for the diverse tapestry of American history. To promote inquiry and critical thinking, a teacher could ask questions like, when do you think this photograph was taken? Or why do you think this image was made? Then the teacher could reveal the date and context of the photo for students to reflect on and revise their predictions. Next slide, please. I wanna thank Vivian Awume and Stacey Motes for their guidance and thoughtful mentorship on this project. Hopefully these activities and resources will help teachers foster an inclusive, engaging and meaningful learning environment. Thank you.